Welcome back to Dark Souls Caliber. For the first time, I'm recording this in 60 FPS. Thanks to the fact that YouTube just added 60 FPS support. So let me know in the comments how the quality is. Let me know, you know, how smooth it is. Make sure it actually works. Although I suppose if it doesn't work, you can't watch this. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let me know how the 60 FPS experience is on YouTube for you for this video, because uh, I've personally found my experience to not be so good. However, that's in Firefox, which apparently is not the best way to experience 60 FPS with YouTube videos. Apparently, Chrome is the most reliable way to see it work correctly, so... Not sure what's up with that, but yeah, hopefully this looks okay. Nice and smooth. Alright, let's get going and find some more areas that I have not explored. Thanks to the fact that everything's melted. We want to go looking, looking for some melty bits. That is not a good way to start. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. One strong attack should do him in. And... I could run past these dudes, right? Hello. Oh no, he's waking up. Quickly! Not quite quick enough. Come on, let me backstab you. Yeah, I might be able to run past these people, but just to be safe. Gotta go. Backstab the bastard. It's not working. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Eh. Alright, don't need to go to the left. That just goes to where the bonfire is for the expulsion chamber. Fit in here. Even did the move for a backstab, but it didn't work. Slippery bastard. Oh, no, you don't. See, that is a good example of a bad time to Estus. That's a dumb Estus. A dumbstus. Okay, here we go. So here's where I wanted to start exploring. I've not been down here. 
Um, I did go inside of there, using my, unfortunately, my last uh, Ferris's Lockstone. And I still have yet to go that way, so let's go down here. It's time to go down. I really thought I was out of range. Well, that was terrible. I knew you could- oh. Oh shit. I knew you can go in there. There was that guy looking through the bars and I saw that wooden place and I thought people could walk and yeah, indeed you can. Please follow me. Jabbing at the steps. Fucking hell. I can't believe how much damage I keep taking from those guys. I think I need to just dodge more sideways because they do have spears. So their attacks tend to be very far reaching forwards attacks. Chime plus eight. Just keeps hitting the wall. Hmm. Should I go down the ladder? Or the former? Well, first, secrets? No, that's not secrets, that's a bottomless abyss. Or is it? That's not a bottomless abyss. Put on my cat ring and I could totally survive that. There's a dude looking through the bars. Doggy's down there. Alright, well, before we start jumping down places we can't get back up, let's go up and down the ladders. Elizabeth Mushroom. I love eating your shrooms. Ooh, I think I just opened up a shortcut, didn't I? Yes, that's a door that would not open from the other side before. Sweet. Which is good, because given that I've gone through more than half of my Estus, and I still have another ladder place to explore, and a place to fall down, I think I might need a shortcut to get here and have enough Estus left to actually do something. Below? 300 votes.
You know, if I hit him really hard, I think I can push him off. Oh, don't fall, don't fall. Oh, shit. It's fine. This is where I was going to jump down to anyway, right? So it looks like it just leads to the same place. Sniper spot. I don't need to snipe dogs. They're weak. Hmm. Ring of resistance. I probably already missed it, didn't I? Oh, there it is. Raises poison, bleed, cure, and petrif curse and petrify resist. Protective ring adorned with four blessed gems. Increases resistance to poison, bleeding, petrification, and curses. A creation of the lost land of Olafus. Olaf, probably Olafus. Olafus sounds better than Olafus. <laughs> lost land of Olafus. The sorcerer who created this was so powerful that he became widely feared. how much it increases it. Let's look at bleed resist. Bleed resist is 151. Now it's 151. It's the same. Huh? Raises bleed resists. Yep. Okay. Well, that thing's a pile of shit. I don't know. Maybe it's just not reflected in the stat screen, although I don't know why it wouldn't be. Regardless, I've never found raising my resistances to anything particularly useful, except when it comes to... Uh, maybe the poison when I was in the poison area where everything was poison. And um, I think petrification resistance was helpful for a little bit. In that place that also had lots of petrification. But other than that, raising my resistances has not really been important. Oh, for the love of God. Alright, I'm leaving. I okay. Wow. Well, I get my Estes back. I didn't get a chance to do anything. I ran like half a step and then got stabbed in the back. Okay, well I believe I can just run there now. Much better. They're not going to come down here, are they? Alright, I think I'm good. Oh, they're all lined up for me. Although there's really no reason to go that way, is there? All oh, right, that really doesn't go anywhere. 
I suppose there's no point in taking you out. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Well, actually, hmm. If I fall down there, I could maybe get at his back. Look at him guarding my souls. My dark souls that are actually not dark, they're, they're green. Oh shit. Nope. What the hell? Did you fall? Oh no, I was just focused on a dog for some reason. Where did the... No, he did fall. I wondered why he disappeared. I was like, wow. He's being very polite, leaving me alone while I attack this other small dude. Okay, now we're back to where we were, and I have all of my Estus. There's no ladder in here, right? Nope, just a big hole to fall through. Which would get me behind a bunch of dogs. But, uh, no, it's fine. The dogs aren't hard. Famous last words before I get devoured by all of them. Oh, right, now he's down here. Shit. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, wait a minute, the dogs aren't actually on this level, are they? Well, I think there might be, like, one or two hiding behind those boxes. Yep, they're coming. Nope. Nope. So, him falling might not be a good thing. Because it's complicated matters. Alright, I'm jumping. Okay, they didn't notice me. Sweet. Liar head? Of course, people saying secret walls, secret place, secret place. Which is, of course, all a load of steaming horse shit. What did I have here? Ah, uh, dragon ring. Well, my second dragon ring. Never mind the first one, which apparently I lost or something. Come on. Before the dog come, please. That was not a good time to do that. One strong attack should do him in. Okay, and we're good. Doggies! Hmm. 
been a while since I've seen a wooden chest. Herbs. Alright, I think this is leading to another soldier I can recruit to my side. Another one of those buildings that probably houses one of those soldiers. Yeah, it's leading to that. Alright. Dark Spirit ahead. 600 votes. Okay, it's probably true. Alright. Where are ya? Where are ya, you fucking bastard? Hmm? Hmm? So this goes up. What, what's up there? I don't know. Let's go. Oh, that wasn't far. Oh, I'm opening a shortcut, aren't I? Yes, I remember this. Right above me is where I got the uh, the key that allows me to see the invisible people. Oh my god, there's so many bloodstains here. Castaway Witch Donna. Okay, that moved fast. Whoa! Holy shit! God damn. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Did you really just fucking put down one of those talking things? You cheeky fuck. Someone had a lot of fun coding the AI for this DLC. They made him very smart assy. Okay, uh... What's the quickest way to get there? Given the shortcut I just unlocked, it's gotta be that, but what's the quickest way to get to the shortcut place? I don't even remember how I got there. I seriously don't. How, how did I get there to the key place? When I first went there, it was a very long journey. So do I have a shortcut to the shortcut place? Uh... I don't know... What's the lower garrison? Is this a good pl No, this is not a good place. This is not at all closer to where I want to go. Okay, I'm gonna figure out a good route, and I'll be right back. Oh, wait a minute. Here we- Oh, yeah. It's just right here. So, the bonfire for this place. If you remember this place. A jump that I can't make. Weird places and walls and stuff. It's the, uh, the inner wall. Um, this one. Yeah. This is actually just a little bit further than where the shortcut is. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy.
All right, come on. Dark spirit. Yes. Oh god, there's an enemy back there. Shit. I don't want to bring you back there. Can I bring you back here? Yes, yeah, no. Oh, you're going back, aren't you? Shit. I have to fight her. I have to fight her on this main thing here. Backstab? Can I backstab? You gonna turn around? Or can I backstab? Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, I need to move her a little bit further back here. I cannot attract that other enemy. Come on, come on. Strong attack. Strong attack. Strong attack. Yes. Whew. After that, I ain't even worried about you. Breathe deep. Hmm. The smell of victory. And highly pixelated trees. Hmm. HD. Yes. Alright, come fight for me. You can clearly see I'm the, I'm the superior being here. Mr. or Mrs. Snakehead. Or Anvilhead, whatever the hell that is. It looks really weird. Seriously, what is wrong with your head? Hurrah for ally. That's just how I stretch. Charmer ahead. Okay, so that makes for, I believe, three allies. So I think I can get one more, right? Weren't there four seats? I don't know if I need all four, but I certainly want all four. I want to explore everything up until... Uh... That place. Before I actually go into that place. Sue? See you. Um... Crap, what have I explored and what have I not explored? Hold on. Uh. Well, first things first, let's go back. Because now my pathway's diverged so much that I'm not quite sure where I've been and where I haven't been. Um. I unlocked a bunch of shortcuts. I think... Okay, I think there's one more thing to do through here. I'm just going to run through most of this. But there is a ladder that I believe I missed, which I still have not visited again, so let's go do that. Hope I don't regret doing this. A 
Okay, so that's where I just explored down there. Yeah, so right around here, I believe there's a ladder. Once I get back onto the main walkway outside. Oh. I didn't even know this was here. More shrooms. Hello. Oh, nobody's actually following me, so let's just slow down. What are you, what are you doing? Alright, no need to run. Thought I forgot about you, did you? Ah, uh, yes, this is where I pressed that thing, which brought all the coffins here, which opened up another pathway, which I've already gone through. Yes, yes, yes. Ran out of stamina. Ow. Eh, good enough. Yeah, so ladder's over there. You're gonna keep throwing shit at me, aren't you? Ah, seems like he's turned his back. I know I've been in here before, but just want to check and see what's in here again. Oh, right, dogs. <laughs> These things are so easy to kill. I don't think there's anything frozen here. I know there's another dude that'll, like, fall off up there. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm not up there anymore. Praise the sun. Yeah, this is where I think I missed. It's right next to the entrance of this place. Yeah, I did miss this, I think. That or I came up here and this was frozen. Why is there a blood stain here? What did you die from? Hmm, I guess that's the enemy that falls down the stairs. Yeah, so if you come up here instead of going down there first, I guess you can hit him in the back. Or die, as that person did. Splintering Lightning Spear. A spell I'll never use, because I don't use spells. I'll read his description, though. Developed from a primal miracle. Launch splintering spears of lightning. Ever since miracles came to be, learned men have endeavored to rework and remold them to their satisfaction. This is one such effort. Oh, there's an item out there. From the dog, I think. Yeah, it's probably just a human effigy or, what, or something. Alright, well, I think... That might be everything to explore until the next bonfire. I'm really having a hard time keeping everything straight as to where I've been and where I haven't been. Uh, oh wait, no, let's go down here and see what... What's down here? For a second I thought that was a weird enemy, I'm like, what the hell is that? And then I just realized it's just a, a really strangely ragdolled enemy. I believe down here just leads to... I think it just leads to the, uh, the key place. Where I got the, the, the key that allows me to see enemies that are invisible.
So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it until the next bonfire, but let's go make sure. Preemptive Estus. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yep, next bonfire is over there. So yeah, that's everything between the first bonfire and second. Oh shit, I might as well just run over there, right? It's probably quicker than going back to the bonfire. Well, maybe not, but whatever. I'm committed. <laughs> Beware of liar. By the way, illusory wall ahead. Sure. Okay, yes, so I've seen everything that has been unfrozen between the outer wall, the first bonfire, and the second, and the second, and the third. Because I'm currently at the inner wall. Everything between outer wall and abandoned dwelling is explored. Everything, everything between abandoned dwelling and inner wall is explored. Uh, lower garrison has been explored, I think. I did that after it had been unfrozen, right? I think? Not quite sure. I haven't done the expulsion chamber thing, but... Uh, yeah, done most of this. So next thing to do is continue on the inner wall here. And see what's been unfrozen. Because I remember I couldn't do much in this place. I could only go a little bit before I hit something where I just couldn't do anything. All my pathways were frozen. But now I should be able to do a lot more. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon.